Hi everybody, this is Jerome Ray, and um, yes, you guessed it, I'm back at another image here of Jesus. Okay, this is a, um, a catacomb image, and I believe this is from the, um, the 4th or 5th century, that escapes me, but it's from our earlier cent centuries here, and um, I believe it's the 4th or the 5th, I know the one that I'm going to bring up next I think it's probably from the second century but anyway I was drawn to these images um, I, was, I would think almost like about three years ago um, through my paranormal experience and encounter I couldn't just let this go I mean I, I was drawn to it and um, in a sense that I mean I, I was drawn to them actually I was drawn to the um, the Shroud of, Tur um, of Turin first and then as I started looking at the shroud, I realized that the shroud of Turin is very much similar to everything that is here that I've actually been finding. And as you look at this image, not only are you drawn to it, this is an image of Jesus, a catacomb image of Jesus. It calls you to look at not just the face of Jesus, but it calls you to look at the very substance of everything that is around him into the picture and I'm looking at this picture and looking at this picture and of course you know that I see things in a multi-dimensional way anyway um, which some people call I guess paradool or whatever that is there where you can't look at something for what it is your your eyes or that function of your of your brain and your eyes they say is um is, is, is broke down and what happens is you start looking for things and seeing things that you um, that are not there you know what I mean? But I wanna I wanna help you see what I see. Now when I first started um doing this some time ago, it was all premature and I was putting it on alien UFOs and let me show you some of the things that I was doing at first. When I first started out, the image had me drawn and I was going to the side and this is um some of the first images that I actually put out there on alien um, UFOs, my dreams and experience um, channel. There, I had the image turned sideways, and as you can see, I mean these are these are doodles, but this here identified as a pig. This here, the witch-like woman who I dubbed as the mother of creation, and I started um, looking and still, but I'm still drawn to this now. And these were my initial drawings and I'm you know what I mean just drawing around doodling around I see you know a horn being right there and the witch like woman there and the pig and these things look like cartoons at first to be totally honest with you and I think this was actually my first one here but what happens is this was my this was my first one here and you start seeing these objects and you try to follow the lines which is hard to do because once you start drawing and identifying different um, beings like let me show you for an example here what I'm talking about as I done got better with this now though but like right here for instance as you start drawing you start realizing that these faces actually have morphing values where they morph into other things and it just actually just throws you all the way off as you can see I just draw the head there actually what looks like a prehistoric creature but still I'm gonna get I'm gonna get better than that I'm gonna show you something how I evolved from that and again you see the nostrils up in here of this creature and all I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going and all then you start seeing little worms and stuff snaking around here and they have faces right there you, you see what I just did right there and you start seeing the value in this and, and what's happening here with these creatures so this is what happens as you start once you put your pencil on the on these faces and on these images and start drawing if there is any value in so much as far as a, a paranormal value spiritual value, if you're drawn to it like I am automatically what happens is the true essence it's almost like you become drawn into them and these images you don't stop until you have it 
until you actually tapped into. Once you start seeing these images, in other words, you're drawn into, your pencil touches the paper, and you start drawing on these beings. What happens is they reveal themselves to you. Your eyes actually focus in on what they are, who they are, and the sequential order and value of them as far as them contributing to the creation of mankind. If that makes any sense to you. Okay. Um, later on drawings that I actually were made in the beginning. Um, I, yeah, I think I showed this to you. Was here. And it shows you like this object here of this pig here. With this, um, with this object in his mouth leading over to the face of Jesus. This may seem insignificant. I mean insignificant. But this image is in the glorification of the iron horse. Um, where a pig is with a block in his mouth. Um, uh, one of those shrines is a um, it's a shrine to somebody. One of those popes. This image is in there. This image is consistent with other findings of mine. A pig with a block in his mouth, showing you the building block being passed off to man. Okay, this here I have discovered to be with maybe about three. I positively. I'm positively identified it to be with three other discoveries of mine. So anyway, people, to make a long story short, let me get you to what, what I'm driving at here. Let me show you some other images. Cause these look like like cartoon drawings at this point. But watch what happens as I start to see these bands and identify them. Now, I'm going to let this image, I'm going to show you one here that you can see. Now, we already know that we evolved from ape, right? That mankind evolved from ape. You see that image, that catacomb image? I'm going to spin this around and turn this cockeyed here and show you something. And you see what I just did there, right? Watch this. Are you there? Look right here, people. And I'm not even going to draw anything on it. What do you see right there? Look. What do you see right there? This is a catacomb image. 4th century of Jesus. Look at that right there. The clear picture of an ape. Right there. There is his eye. Eye. There's his forehead. And look at the snaky object, like a penis, coming out up towards the face of Jesus. Look at that, people. Right there. I did not touch anything. Then there is a dinosaur-like creature right here, eye, eye, going down, and there's its mouth right there at the ape's mouth. Both of them are facing down. This is a catacomb image. Look at this. Look at that, people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna draw it out. I can't actually. I can't see it. I can show you. Now I want to show you something else. Um, let me get my other markers here. I want to show you something else. First of all, let me highlight that ape for you. Well, you should be able to actually see it there. But I want to show you another creature. You see this creature there? Where are we at with the ape? I don't want to mess up the ape and all. Let me put my let me finger the ape. It's hard for me to see the ape from this angle. No, I'm showing it to you here. All right, I'm at his forehead right there. Damn, my store can't see it now that I turned it upside down. I'm showing you the ape clear right here. There's the eye. I'm at an eye of the the ape right there, and I still can't see it the way I have it turned and oh there it is right there okay I see it now I want to call your attention see the ape there there's a dinosaur coming down from this end here did that know but I want to show you something here because this is important because there's another creature here that I want you to actually see the ape is at the mouth of another creature let me see if I can put that There is so much here, people, that you could not, you would not even begin to imagine what this even is, to be totally honest with you. But I'm going to show you something. And it's important that I put this creature in there. I can't even get it. I'm trying not to mess up the, let me see where I'm at with the line, because I don't want to mess up the ape. Okay, I stopped there at the ape. All right. Now look at this snake-like object here. Let me see if I can get this in without still messing up these wormy-looking objects, first of all. They are showing genetic links and creations. There are evolutionary faces of our ancestors up in here. 
and I'm trying to get this perfect here. I should have actually. All right. Basically, okay, you see the eye here. There's an eye socket there. There. Okay, and there. And now, remember I told you it looks like there's, keep in mind of what I just done there. And you see the face of the ape right here, right? Right in the, everybody see that? The face. There's the mouth of the ape. There's the eye socket. There's the forehead. And you see this object snaking over the ape's head? People, what that is, is, I'm going to see if I can put that in there for you. I'm going to show you something, how this actually goes. This is a tongue coming from this creature's mouth, like an object of that of a snake, up towards Jesus. Now, I hope I don't, I'm trying to keep this... So I don't mess up the okay, yeah, I'm coming across the ape forehead now. And it actually you see worm like extensions coming off the tongue and it's showing you. See it? How it creates the eyebrows of the ape there. You see that? You see this creature right there? That is a that is an ancestor of our let me do the, the lips and the mouth here while I'm there, so I'm gonna show you something. I want to show you something here. That's that's creating an ellipse. It's showing you this creature's mouth is wide open and over the ape that is there. And it's showing you the genetic links between this creature, the ape, and the connection to Jesus. Can you see that ape there? Now I'm going to show you what the ape looks like drawn out. It give you an idea of what you were seeing. Here's an earlier image. Well, let me do the ape here. Let me show you what the ape looks drawn up. There's the ape right there. I highlighted it and captioned it for you. See that ape inked in? And you see other creatures there? People, what's happening is that... Now, I don't care how you add this up. My discovery is that there's always a witch-like woman. There's always an ape. And I told you that I know where ape actually evolved from based on all my findings. People, there is an ape right there at the throat of Jesus. Right there. Look at this. Eye, eye, nostril. There's the mouth. This is the gorilla looking mouth. There's the chin and coming around. Right there. There's the ape. Then it shows you other, other evolutionary faces. Here's another image that I drew earlier on of the ape. Right there. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. Well, that's actually smaller. But there it is right there. Now, it may not mean much. Now, that's, well, actually, it does mean much. It's, it's very significant, to be totally honest with you, because we know that we evolved from ape. And then there's the ape. I'm going to put the eyes in. Uh, I don't want to... I can't, for some reason, I can't see this guy upside down. I see him perfectly here. I hope that you guys can actually see him. Okay. All right, I'm going to stick to what I'm what I'm doing here because I might mess that up, a perfect image and all. Anyway, let me, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can bring this in closer for you so you can take a look at that ape. There you go. See that ape? Eye, eye, nostril, nostril. There's the ape's mouth right there. Now I'm going to show you something else. So I'm going to back that off. This was my first catacomb image of Jesus that I'd done. And then I started realizing that in the hair, and this is how a lot of those artists' artworks I broke down because I started realizing in the hair, there are faces in the hair. You start looking at their, their multi-dimensional morphine faces, and all of these faces are, are, are consistent with that of the creation of mankind. I wonder if I can get this face here for you right quick. Well, there's one here, and you probably said, the witch-like woman, I don't want to mess this up for you, right in there, and it shows their face evolving out. 
There's another one here. She looks almost like the Madonna. Got the with the uh, head um, um, with the veil on the head, the head dressing, the whole lot. Here's the chin. Once you start drawing on the faces of people, it looks it looks more cartoonish. If you Google this image, the catacomb images of Jesus, which I encourage you to do, look at the highlights that I made, and once you start identifying the faces, you see the morphing other faces of that of which I'm telling you. Find the ape, turn the image, look at the ape, and you will see how the faces are shown. Let me see if I can do. Now the ape is there. I'm gonna see if I can get this face right next to the right next to the ape without messing this up. For for example, look at this. Look at this here. Now these faces, people, believe me when I tell you, are like picture perfect. If you actually Google the image and look at, like incorporated in the face of Jesus there. I'm drawing upside down. These faces. Can you see that without me messing that up? I'm going to wait for you. You see what I just did there? You see that witch-like woman I just did? These faces are incorporated in the body of Jesus. There's the witch-like woman. Her eye is at the throat. Well, actually, it's at the throat. Let me move this. That ain't the, the chin area. In the, in the chin area of Jesus. Here's her chin. There's her mouth. See how she takes on form right there? These images, people, are morphine images, and it shows you how bloodlines, almost like a, a genetic rail, how bloodlines actually were created, and it shows you our ancestor evolutionary faces. I'm going to see if that ape is still there with that woman I just drawn. Yes, he is. Look, right there. See how I just drawled around and the ape is still there? I just can't. For some reason, though, I can't. Okay, I see his face there. For some reason, I can't. His chin is right there. I wonder if I can get him in there now. Let me get another color pen. And um, see if I can get him in there right before I listen to my time. I have something better coming in here. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> All right, what we got here? All right, the ape's chin. I might just try to see if I can highlight him without messing this up. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I got that up in there. There's the ape's chin, the ape's eyes are right in there. Okay, you see what I'm doing here, people? Now the ape's nostrils, I can't really, are right in there, but I'm afraid to go in there and actually mess that. To mess that up, but you can actually see here's the separation part of the mouth right there, right in there, and it even shows you how the top lip portion, okay, and how the mouth is. Did I do any justice for that for you there? See, see what I'm trying not to enhance it too much because then it actually takes away from the from the real likeness that that is made here of this creature because this creature is made to look almost real you see that there all right see how I enhance that now remember my witch like woman who I dub as the mother of creation who always appears with the ape look how she ate her and then there's Jesus there she is right there you see that? There's her chin, her nose, her eye, and the chin of Jesus, and her forehead right there at the mouth of Jesus. And look at these, these creatures. Shows you this creature, the ape and the mouth of this creature, the mother of creation, and Jesus. Now, I'm going to take you to something else. Now, I just, oh gosh, I just dropped a pen. I, hope, I mean, I hope I don't step on that later. You see that? Look at that, people. All right, I'm going to keep going here. And there's my ape. Now, Google these images, catacomb images of Jesus, now that I showed you that. All right, that's, that's my latest discovery. Now, here's another image. Let me see if I can. Right here. This is another 
image. These are this is a fainted image because these are catacomb images, people. Um, across the head of Jesus here, on this side, and I have a better picture of this. I just want to show you because I just draw something across the head of Jesus there. There is a dragon-like creature. Now I have it drawn better than I'm just going to highlight it because this is the teeth are shown and everything else people here representing Jesus' reptilian bloodline and just the eye would be up in there whatever in his hair encrypted his hair on this side there's a snake down in here but I have it already drawn so I'm not going to take the time again to do that now over here I just found this just now as I was going to do this video um, and this side here there's a hog showing his teeth and everything right here. I'm going to show you. I have better pictures. I just want. Here's the. I'm going to draw the hog here based on what I just actually just found. And just to give you an idea. This I can see so I can actually. Now that's the face of Jesus, people. There's the thorns around his head and all. Now look, I'm coming across all of these. All I'm doing is just following the lines. Look, I'm at the teeth of this hog. And then, look, all of these lines are all lines that I am following that are already here. Can you see that that image of that hog? I'm going to stop to take a look at a minute. But all of these lines, people, and the hair of Jesus there, can you see that? I'm going to turn that sideways. That's a hog. Okay, I'm going to take that away right quick and all and show you exactly what this looks like. I don't even know what the year is on this catacomb image. But I'm going to show you what this looks like. In fact, I can probably, I'm going to have to definitely adjust this up so you can actually see this. First of all, I can probably do that. When I bring this in close, I'm going to see if I can bring show you this hole. Oh, too much. Right. Oh, there's the hog right there. You can see the hog right here, people. I didn't just find that. I actually had that in that image as well, too. Let me see if I can show you that hog closer up. See that hog there? All right. And I do have it highlighted here. I just forgot that I actually did it. There it is right there. However, look on the hair of Jesus. There's that serpent right there. Dragging on one end. Look, wrapped around. And then here is the snake. The same snake that's 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 um that's shown with Jesus in the Nervy Hall um um sculpture by Fizenzi at the Vatican. Showing you the the bloodline, the reptilian bloodline, okay, and um, how we evolved. If you actually notice in here, you see other faces, okay, and this is all in the hair of Jesus. I know what this all means to people, by the way, and I'll, I guess um, sometime or another, I'll actually show you. This is another catacomb image. I'm going to have to speed up a little bit here. You can Google these images, these catacomb images, and now that I showed you what I found, all you have to do is just take that either copy them or take that image and do a side-by-side -side of what I've shown you and you can verify everything that I found even in the first image that I actually showed you and see that there is a pattern not just any pattern people these are not just random images the same creatures appear in every one of these catacomb images the exact in sequential order mind you now I know the order that they go in and how these creatures were created so I can go step by step around these images and show you that they are identical you know what I mean and the in encryptions that I'm actually in find in fact I know how these catacomb images were created now the next what catacomb image is that it's probably going to be my best one let me see let me see I, gotta, I know I gotta speed up here I'm slowing down is this one Watch me have to back the image up, Tony. I think this is a second century catacomb image. And this one here is, is, is pretty good, people, because this one here highlights 
Uh, let me see. Can I bring that over? I know I better speed up here before. Watch me end up running out of time, and then this is the best, which is the last. Uh, first of all, whenever you see the horse, there's a horse there, automatically representing genetic bridging. Jesus is in the middle. It's, this is called the um, the Good Shepherd. If you want to Google this image, it's called the Good Shepherd. I gotta hurry up because I only got five minutes left. All right. But however, whenever you see this person in the middle, you see the horse on the opposite side, like I just showed you in the Abraham and Isaac um, catacomb image, represents this person genetically bridged through this creature. And then the um, the result is over here. Now, this is supposed to be identified as a cock, a rooster, or whatever have you. My finally says that's not that's 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 not definitely not what that is. What I see, I'm gonna tell you what I see. Now, this was this was studied and identified as being a cock, okay, a rooster. What I see is because I know that this these genetics were genetically bridged with that of Jesus. And it shows you that his hand, his hand going out, there's the cauldron, which is the witch's brewing kettle, showing you that there was a chemistry here. Just like the, back in, like we were taught to believe in, in the, um, in, in those, um, 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 witch, um, uh, myths and, um, and fairy tales on TV, that wherever you see the witch's kettle, the cauldron, there was a, a, a chemistry, a witch's brew. Okay? Caught like ritual. That's what this pale represents. Ident identi uh, identically what we were taught to believe what it was that's what that is showing you that the chemistry was taken from here signified by Jesus step foot out towards this creature and whatever and everything else I already know based on my findings and there was a tie between human and horse which represents the ancient dinosaur. I gotta help me and get this going in here too because I'm gonna run out of time. And um, this I'm, I'm suggesting is a person right here standing, which you can see a person standing. There's the head, there's the torso, there's the lower body, the leg, and the horse is shown merged with this person. This is the rear of the horse shown merged with that person. Or the I'm sorry, or the horse turned, and the horse turned back and looking at that person, and the body of the horse, this part, this part is out, and this part is still merged in with the with the um, with the human that is standing. You can check that out for yourself. I'm running out of time, so I got to speed up. Now, what I'm going to draw you to in this catacomb image is that this this is a fourth century um, catacomb image, and this is called the um, the good um, the good shepherd, I believe, or the good herder. Look here, people. It looks like this is supposed to be a bag. This is actually a head of that of a alien looking being right here. Look at this right here, people. Now, I already have this drawn on. I gotta hurry because I'm gonna run out of time. That's the head right there. You see me just put that together. I'm gonna show you another image because I only have two minutes. Now, this creature, remember that I showed you the creature with the ape, with the mouth open and it's shown the ape in the last image? Here that creature is right here on Jesus' other shoulder. And these are looking like luggage bags. Look at that right there. That creature please be it. That funny looking creature there, people, is identical to this right there. You see that? That creature right there with the mouth open at the ape is identical to this creature right here. Right there. Identical. And then there's the head. Then <clears throat> in the face of Jesus, if you look close, there's the woman, the witch like woman, the mother of creation, right there in the side of his face. And she's created green right there okay and then you begin the people to see all of these other creatures the ape is right there in his throat how many minutes i got left i'm gonna run out of time here here's the ape right here people look at this 
I'm going to show you the ape. You can Google this image based on, follow my pen. I'm at the ape's eye. There's the ape's um, left side of the ape's face. Look at this, people. There's the ape's mouth there. Look, here's an ape's eye here. I'm at the ape's nose right there. And look at this, people. There's your Magilla Gorilla right there. You see that? I'm going to bring this in closer because I'm running out of time. Oh, I'm going I'm to end this video. I'm running out of time, people. I have to let this go. There's your ape right there. Look at these creatures. There's an eye. Look at the cranial. Look at that. Alien looking creature. There's this creature consistent with the last image. There's an ape right there. Google the image. I have to go. My name is Jerome Wright. You're on my Jeromeification channel. And I hope that you enjoy these videos. All these cat three catacomb images, and I'm showing you the same thing. People, I'm going to end this video with that. I don't want to go over time. Okay? See the rest of my videos here.